So, so on A days, we'll be out here for break. Um, the only day we'll be out here for break. So there's a new um, general seating in here. Is seniors are up there. Um, ninth and eleventh graders and eighth graders are over here, and tenth graders are right right um, below the seniors. So um, try to get into those areas when we're out here for A day. Um, so I wanted to, to start first by introducing those that will um, always um, be here for break and leading break, and that is your president and vice president, Maddie and Nico. Come on up, Maddie. I'm Nico, I'm your vice president for the school year, uh, and I'm excited to see all these fresh new faces around the amphitheater. Yeah! It's gonna be awesome, man! It's gonna be awesome! Miss Turkey, come on up. Well, along the lines of introduction, um, for those of you who are new to campus, um, these are your California Desert Tortoises, um, Fred and Rosie Well, um, are, are two California Desert Tortoises that were given to the school as gifts um, 25 years ago. Um, they were hatchling, they were about this big, uh, and so you can see that um, they're a pretty good size, and they reside in um, an enclosure right in the front of Day Hall uh, over near Mr. Johnson's end of the building. Um, and uh, they are out um, first thing in the morning. Um, we interrupted their breakfast this morning, they were eating. Uh, and they just kind of hang out all day. So you are welcome to go over there, check them out, watch their activity. Um, they're kind of soothing, so um, if you're having a stressful day, you can watch them enjoying life, which is what everybody should be doing. Um, there are just a couple of rules that I need you to be mindful of. Um, rule number one is that the pen is their home, their enclosure, and so just like you would expect no one to just walk into your home uninvited, um, the same is true of their home. So we're gonna ask you to stay out of their enclosure to watch them from the um, walkways. Um, the second rule is that um, they do have a very specific diet. Um, although they might enjoy your peanut butter sandwich or your Skittles, um, it's not really very good for them. So we're gonna ask you to, um, to not share your food with them, but if you get there early enough, you'll be able to see them eat. Um, they were named uh, when they first came to campus by the daughter of one of the, um, one of the faculty, the science faculty, um, and I don't actually know where their names came from, but Fred and Rosie. Um, actually, it turns out at about age 10, were um, identified by the veterinarian as both males. Uh, and so um, we sometimes refer to them as the Freds because Rosie, although I guess that can be a generic name, um, sounds more like a girl's name. So some, some people will refer to them as Fred and Rosie and some people will refer to them as the Freds. But you can see that they're very mobile, they're very active. Um, they will probably live, the veterinarian said, to be about um, somewhere between 150 and 200 years, um, long after I'm gone. <laughs> um, and so they're gonna be kind of our time capsule to be able to say, ah, oh, we were back at York School when. Uh, and so, that's Fred and Rosie. Enjoy them over the school year. Uh, and um, if you ever have any questions or anything, seek out Ms. Keister or me, and we can maybe give you a little more information.
and Ben's going to speak to this in a second, so if you want to briefly explain it. Um, <clears throat> so essentially, the Punmeister is a York tradition embodied by a green hat person. And this hat has been passed down for generations for people to make puns. Most of them make us groan. But it's it's been going on forever, and it's a tradition that we don't want to kill off. So let's welcome Ben to the stage. Woo! for this year. I was going to introduce myself or well, you know, explain the whole thing, but uh, appreciate that, thank you. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, my job is to tell jokes. I am uh, the funny, and as such, uh, I, uh, and I'll come up here every once in a while, and I will say something really stupid, and you will laugh or you won't, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, this is like a time on tradition. It's been going on for like 30 something years, and, uh, well, see, thing is, uh, I kind of never really saw much of a punmeister do anything. Because last year, uh, our, our, uh, our guy Dominic, who's a very good friend of mine, loved Dominic, he was great, didn't really do anything. So, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to kind of like step into this with a more um, interesting perspective. I have a very heavy stand-up and improv background. Uh, I took a lot of classes like pack rep, and uh, forest theater, and um, I have, I have training. Like uh, I've been doing this since like middle school, so I was thinking of doing more of like jokes and good ones. <laughs> <laughs> but um, still, anyway, uh, the last thing that I want to mention is that uh, juniors, you are uh, in an interesting position because I will be watching all of you, yeah. all times of your life. And if I think you are funny enough, and I ask you if you want to do it, and you say, yeah, great, uh, I will give you the hat. But you must earn it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm Ben. Thank you for uh, having me. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. Band coming, Pudmeister coming to a break near you soon. <laughs> One of the other traditions that, that I started um, last year was a minute to win it. Um, so I thought that we would start the year with another minute to win it. Um, and ahead of school day is a day break. So um, so we're going to do that today. Um, and I thought the best way to integrate new new faculty and staff into the school is to make them compete. You know. Yeah. 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 All right. So as you know, um, we always do this representing a particular grade. Um, so I will introduce our contestants. So, Ms. Gretchen Thompson, who will be representing the eighth grade. Come on up. Right. Now this next new faculty and staff member wanted a nickname. So again, <laughs> she actually created a nickname. So, Ms. Fearman, it's uh, Lightning Lisa will represent yeah. 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 And coming for you, Gretchen. <laughs> Mrs. Nadainer, Jenny, where are you? There you are, 10th grade. Yeah. One of the two Dans, Dan Bursko will represent 11th grade. Yeah. Yeah. Danny Cruz. Miss Yarny, where are you, Liz? Right there, 12th grade. All right, so what you're going to want to do, I'm going to show you in a minute, we're going to show you on the screen what your goal is. All right? Okay, so let's do that really quickly. So watch the screen. We'll be on both screens. Suck it up. The common drinking straw is engineered to move liquid to your mouth. In this challenge, contestants start with a straw in their mouth and 
by sucking that they will transport four candies from a receptacle and deposit them at top position straws located across the stage. Failure to complete this task in 60 seconds may result in elimination. <laughs> oh no, it's right. Oh no. So, we're talking about this. Who's money on? Lightning! Right, so right here, right here. You might want to get on either side. You can choose either side. Okay. You can also rearrange where you have to place the candies on the top here. Okay. All right. And I have tried this. It is impossible. <laughs> so I hope that you can succeed at this. So again, the goal is you want to create a vacuum. So you think it's a vacuum. Yeah. They're Skittles, by the way. Wait, wait, Skittles. what? <laughs> like we can pick up the straw with our hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can we all grab our I'm straw? I'm not sure that will help, but you can do that. Okay. All right, okay. all right. So okay. hold on. If you want to rearrange these to make sure these are all straight for you. I'm sorry, Eleven. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go, Lightning. Uh, I got, um, all right. I don't think it's going to be <laughs> Come on, people. Okay. Bring your, bring your competitors. <laughs> Talk about it. Hold on, hold on. All right. No, I've got this. All right, you're back. Lisa, sorry. Lisa. Yeah. Go. Collaboration and cooperation are important values for any school, any community, and learning. However, however, I just crushed this. <laughs> <laughs> also like competition. So you get several prizes. You get all yeah. the Skittles. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you came in second. <laughs> you can have some of the Skittles. Yeah, but I got the Skittle on first. You get a, you get a car magnet? Yeah! All right, now, if you want to give this to Liz and you feel sorry for her, I don't. But if you, if you feel sorry for her. So this is what the Play-Doh came in. So there was Play-Doh. So you have little sea creature um, imprints for the Play-Doh. So, so there you go. And now Jay-Z to talk about math today. Yeah, like, I'm shocked. I got you, Mr. I see you coming. We're going down. Shocked. I love it. But uh, what, what, what do they say about close and Izomi and horseshoes? Yeah, hand grenade. Oh, and, yeah. and atomic bombs. Um, so hey, uh, after, after this, right after this, we're going to have path advisory. So um, for the new students, that's um, our advisory system. There'll be um, 8, 9, 10, 11 um, students, usually mixed grade levels in your, um, in your path. 
Um, for returning students, um, there's been a lot of movement in PATH, so make sure if you haven't already looked at the um, spreadsheet, you do that. Um, I sent that out yesterday. I've also posted it a couple of places around campus, one um, up on the bulletin board across from Mr. Key's office, one on the library door, um, and also you have it in your inbox too. So um, today we're just kind of uh, getting to know you, seeing how your summer was, seeing how your first day was. So your PATH advisors will have some activities for you. And that goes from right now until 10.30. So, all right, everyone, head off the path. Thank you.